This is what happens when it's windy outside and we cancel our fishing trips. I get stuck cleaning. Look at this shower. It's dirty. So when the wind blows and we can't go sword fishing, I get the girls in the morning, which is great. Little Claire's cute. Sadie's funny too. But we're gonna clean this on up and do some chores around the house today. Do not show people our disgusting shower on YouTube. Okay. Sarah says don't show y'all. Now you just sit back and let it uh, do its thing and clean, and then we'll come back and scrub in a few minutes. Lately, just because once we get 20 knots of wind or more, it just gets rough. You pull more hooks on the swordfish, and when people are spending that much money to go fishing, I want them to have the best shot as possible. So if it's calm, we don't catch anything, it's one thing. But if it's rough, you don't catch anything, you get beat up, and you really don't like it. So we'll keep cleaning here. I'm going to show you the baby girls. are getting a little bigger each day. And... Um, we got a few more things in the works too, so I'm gonna give you a little heads up on that and uh, all that good stuff. So stay tuned. Here we go. Sadie, what happened to your hair? Did you get braids? You did. Squeegee it off from there. Yeah. And then you put it on the floor and go. Yay! An exciting day, as you can see. Let's go check out baby Claire. Hi, Claire. You awake? You are? You want to say hi? Claire's getting bigger by the day. She's growing up. I don't know if I showed you guys earlier or not, but. These are the kids' rods that are coming right here. We will put Sadie's name on that one. So if you got some kids you want to get fishing, we got some quality rods built. And um, they're in production. Looks like early April we'll have them available for sale. Nick even bleached the shower, Jasmine. Are you cleaning? And scrubbed it with a toothbrush. You are? What a real man. Do you want to fish instead? Yeah. You want to clean up? Hey, Bill's insurance. Storage bill, make sure I got another house to go to when I get kicked out of him. Did you see Rob? No, I called him though, he won't answer. <laughs> Sarah's brother used her boat the other day and he found this nice anchor, a nice fortress there. And someone lost it, you know, out there on the reef or whatnot. Their line broke, so they probably had it chafing on the boat there. But Sarah wants to take this anchor, put it on her boat. We're gonna hit a little PB blaster there, shake it on up, let it sit. Just like that. Oh yeah, look at that. We're gonna give that five minutes. To the chopper. Somebody's in the chopper, not us. So we wanna put that uh, brand new anchor there, or the newer one for us anyhow. On Sarah's old chain here. And she likes to use a heavy chain because she anchors out there on the grass a lot of times when she's lobstering. Not this time of year, but a few months ago, you know, someone will be here. So she's got an extra long, heavy chain. That way when you throw it in there, you know it sticks. That's a little trick here too. We'll put a zip tie in there, and that'll help keep the uh, shackle pin in there. Oh boy. There we go. Oh, we're good now. We are golden. There we go. Sarah got herself a nice anchor. Kind of counterintuitive because a lot of people use these anchors because they're lightweight, easier to pull. But we got the heavy stainless chain on here because we want it to hold. So we'd rather drop it once than a couple times. But just tighten up that shackle pin in here. And, you know, a lot of times we'll put that zip tie on there just to ensure it doesn't come undone. But I'm going to tighten this one where it'll be good. It ain't coming undone. So. New anchor for Sarah's boat there, attached. And uh, they didn't have a pair of pliers the other day, so they're good to go now. On to the next thing. Let's go ship a swordfish rod. We got one left. So, this is one of our swordfish rods here. The rest of them are all being built right now. We should have them uh, 
in early April for sale. I only had one left. It got sold really quick. Number four, Stuart Butt on there. Just like that. When we ship this, we're gonna pull in two pieces. That will keep you on a length, but just put a nice plastic bag on it for a rod cover so we don't scratch the glue. Just like that, twist it up, double it back up, and we're gonna box this one up. More exciting news is, there's a bunch of shirts here for us. A bunch of stand shirts just came in. The hats have been going really well. We just got a few of each one left there, and uh, thank all you guys for ordering. The performance shirts have been doing the best, though. We've got of the hooded ones, just six or seven of those left. Some kid shirts. Teal was not as good as a seller as some of the other colors, but uh, we did good there. We've been moving some clothes, so. And everybody that ordered the uh, hoodies, I want to say thank you for that. Especially uh, the roster ones inspired by Jamaican Mike, our favorite. Those were the best seller. You can see they sold a lot more than the uh, gray ones. So here we go. Let's check out these new shirts. So these are performance shirts with the updated logo. I can't wait to see them. And our big orders, you know, that are coming here, we did order a few thousand cotton shirts and we're still just got the performance shirt where uh, we really liked it. You know, we got the blend just right. Super comfortable, got the samples in. We'll be placing that over soon. And it'll be summertime, honestly, mid to late summer when we get the rest of the stuff in. This here we're doing locally, but we do have some big orders coming in as well from some other friends. Ooh, look at these bad boys. More hoodies, you wanted them? There they are. You guys are the first to see them. They'll be up on the website already, though. That's the updated logo there. We got the swordfish bill on top. Screen printed there, plain and simple. I'll marauder down this sleeve on that side. And Bud and Mary's Marine on that side. Because Bud and Mary's Marine, that's home base for us. So hoodies will be back up on the store. By the time this video comes out, though, they'll probably already be live on there. Ah, oh, here comes my mom. New shirts came in. Oh, good. She's been helping pack and ship all the orders, so thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, look at that one. You got orange? Safety orange. And since they were so patient waiting on this rod, you know, you know what I'm saying, it was about 10, 12 days behind. We're going to throw on an extra hoodie in there as a little thank you gift for the order. Hope you guys enjoy that, and I hope you catch some big swordfish on that swordfish rod. Now the rod's secure, it's not moving around. Put the little box here that we made on top of it. That's good to go. So, thank you for the order. Hope you catch some big swordfish on that rod, and uh, hope you enjoy the hoodie as well. So, you sneeze? Uh, I do. What do you want to go get? I want ice cream for me. You want ice cream? Yeah. City wants ice cream. It's the next day. We got a lot of chores done yesterday. Went fishing last night with a little coop. That's going to be a separate video that Jamie makes. But um, we came back down here today with Sadie. Can I give you a hand? Okay, give you a hand. Come here. Oh, there you go, sweetie. We're walking around the dock here. Some of the boats are coming in right now. Come on, Sadie. Here we go. Oh, what type of fish are those, Sadie? Snapper. Those aren't snapper. What type are they? Let's say tarpon. 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 So if you guys want, you come down here to Bud and Mary's. I mean, you're not, you know, going fishing on a boat, but just walk down the dock and you can see all the tarpon and all the fish. You see the tarpon? Where are they? Right there? the water yeah. you know so you can get like a frozen uh, bag of bait up here at the marina the shop if you want buy that walk around feed it kids adults anybody they'll like it come on sadie you like your boots yeah. there you go. i know it's a little different type of video than usual but uh just want to try to mix it up a little bit and show you a little bit more here come on sweetie greg and billy bob came in on a half to here they got some delicious eating yellowtail snappers one of the best eating fish we catch down here Snapper, kidnapper. Not doing really behave today. Always good. Great, like always. All right, there you right. go. Say hi to Captain Greg. Say hi, Greg. She's shy. All righty, she wants ice cream. There's ice cream up there. Is it Bean? Yeah. That's Bean? Sadie, where are you going? It's the Bean. You're going with them cute boots. There you go. She wants ice cream. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What type? All right, just come on. Want to eat? And that one. You want that one? Yeah. Okay. This one right here? Yeah. Here, don't tell your mom I gave it to you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maybe, uh -oh. maybe Mr. Billy will open up for you. Well, yeah. Sarah won't find out because she yeah. don't watch your videos anyway, right? That's true. <laughs> what do you say, Sadie? Mm -hmm. All right, you're all Thank set. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Bean's been fishing lately. He's been catching tarpon, got a giant sawfish. What else did you catch? Uh, yesterday we caught a 34 inch black grouper. That's a nice grouper. A 34 inch black grouper on an ultra light rod and reel, 3,000 reel with 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. He had a shrimp and a jig. He had, he had two offshore hooks in his mouth. They did? And he got got by the ultra light. He escaped twice. Well, I guess he escaped again because they had to let him go, but they caught him this time. What else did black grouper? Tarpon? We caught a, a 21 inch hogfish. That's a nice hogfish. Uh, let's see. Lots of different there sharks, some big jacker oh, bells, oh, and uh, some really nice quality mangrove snappers. There you go. All right, so if you guys come down here, Bean's fishing five trips a week now, five days a week, so come on down, check it out. All right, Sadie, there's your lunch. All right, so we have a little bit of stuff up now, you guys, and we're waiting on all our big orders, like I said, but we got all that new stuff in over there, so we're gonna get online. This is what we got up here for display so far. We got some kid shirts, a handful of gray hoodies, a few of the black ones, they've been a great seller. Some woman's shirts, unisex there, got a bunch of the hats over here. So if you come to Bud Mary's there and you want to get your Bud Mary's shirts, we got lots of gear in here with Bud Mary's. And we got some of the stands gear in here as well. So stay tuned though, it's gonna be a long process and we got uh, more stuff in the works. Yeah, I'm on, what's up, what's up? Yeah, I'm on. Where do you want to go? Wanna go down there? Go chase the birds. Get the birds. Get the birds, sweetie. Get those birds. Greg's over there cleaning the yellow tails. You can see the tarpon down there, the big nurse sharks. Bunch of pelicans down there in the water eating the scraps and whatnot. Pretty day here now. The wind's finally letting up, so this week uh, looks much better. Last week we had 20 25 knots of wind, so postponed most of our swordfish trips. But uh, we'll be back out there tomorrow or the next day. Start to bite. Springtime is here. All the gannets are going north. Good yellowtail bite. You know what like? Red hot. Are you going to the Bahamas? Yeah, they're leaving tomorrow morning. You are? Yes, sir. Billy's going to the Bahamas. You won't see him for a few weeks. Six weeks you won't see me. Six weeks? Yep. Yeah, we're gonna catch big blue marlins, white marlin, everything. Don't you want to say hi to Captain Joey on the Fearless? Hi, Sadie. He's like got a daughter named Sadie, too. I know, they like just... boots. See that? Everyone loves your boots. We got new seats on the boat, too. We installed these. They covered them through warranty. There was a little bit of issues on the other one, but got new ones on here, a little accent in there. Can't wait to sit in them when we go fishing again. Hi, baby Claire. You wanna say hi? Mm. Yeah. All right, we just got home. Sarah's taking them in a the wagon that Uncle Tommy and Lisa made and brought down to us. Give them a little beach there. And that's a wrap. Bye, Sadie. Did you have fun at the marina? Okay, take care of your little sister. I don't want the bay. Did you put all these there? Yeah. Show me. Well, what, did you put them on your scooter too? Yeah. You did? Let's go see it. No. At the bay. No, let's go look at your scooter real quick. Look at that. You're decorating the scooter. You did that? Yeah. Oh, good job. Oops. Can you ride your scooter? We're gonna finish up today with some burgers on the Traeger. Can't go wrong with a Traeger burger. They always stay so juicy. See that, we got a few turkey burgers. Damn beef as normal. Are you ready for bed? No, I can bounce. You wanna bounce? It's bedtime, she does this every night. Seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten. Again. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So every time we lay down to read a book at night, she has this car that makes noise, and she'll skip to this one particular song, and she'll dance like this. Let's see if she does it. You want me to read you Twas the Night Before Christmas? Every night, she does the same thing. All right, I hope you all enjoyed that video. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. We'll see you guys later. Andrew's over there sweeping his porch. There's Duke over there. <laughs>